Hey, it's me, Pro Jared. Welcome back to Magic the Gathering Chandelier Modern. Uh, I'm doing it. I'm going down to Perennian Tavern because I I want I want those uh I, I want those I want those, those those artifacts. I want Black Lotus. I want Ma Mock Sapphire. They're just so good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go for them. Snow covered plains. Give me that. Double checking those. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. I don't wanna fight anyone right now. I am just making a beeline for that. How do I get there? It's such a weird place. I have to go around this, like, inlet. Under gold. Yep. You're all lucky I'm rich. Oh, what's in here? An oasis of Muldoon. You may trade your moat for five extra life in the next duel. No? Well? Would that carry over into a dungeon? It's a moat, though. Nah, I'll trade it. I also found a Dynavolt Tower? Damn. Sometimes I forget about some of those old cards and combos. Uh, I'm okay with trading away the moat. I know it's an incredibly powerful card and super good. Uh, the thing is, I already had, like, a moat deck at the last time I played Chandelar. I don't want to repeat that. You know, just want to make something a little different. Brained pronghorn. Orzhov key rune. Okay. So the dungeon's right there. Gonna do a save just in case there is a uh, crash. Okay. Orcish or flame is in effect. I don't see a whole lot of people here. Which is good. Because if it's not overflowing with enemies to fight, it actually might be okay to traverse. All right, all I gotta do is get past. Try to get past this. What's the total cost and cost of Dryad's Caress? I have no idea. Two. Six? You gain one life for each creature on the battlefield. Well, rip. Well, now I have to fight some goblin lord, so... Might as well get it started. I would like to be on the play, please. And I'm not. Do I like this hand? It looks like it's a little on the slow side. But I feel like mulliganing would be worse. Goblin Shrujin. There's an Abyssal Spectre, at least. The Helm of Chatzuk. More goblins. Why is there planes in my deck? Why is there planes in my deck? I didn't do that. Well, great. Oh, I absolutely didn't get my plus five life for trading away moat, so that didn't work. Ooh. Um, with three mana, I can't cast anything. This was a mistake. What could I do? Versus a two, three. Maybe flash in the three, three. He attacks as a three, as a three, four, though. Ugh. All right, well, we can block. Come on, Goblin Rage, go down to two. Flame Slash? Why is there another planes in here? Did the fan the fan the phantasmal terrain bug in such a way that it made the islands into planes permanently? What the shit? That's why I saved. Th this is horseshit. Nah. Uh-uh. This this is some weird glitch. 
because like this wasn't because my deck was under 40 cards and just randomly put lands in there. I think there's actually a weird Phantasmal terrain glitch. I, you know, I have been trying to do the thing where I play the game legit and I don't try to cheese dick it any point in time. But like, come on, dude. There's no reason for these to be here. Also, I need to adjust my deck so that I have my, uh, my life gain effects. Okay, hold on. Load. Sitting a pal in the Shellcliff Mill. I'll worry about that in a second. Is there planes in here? I don't see a planes! What? Why were there planes in there? Uh, must have been. A, did it glitch in such a way that it thinks like uh, the drowned catacombs and all that that got phantasmal terrain is now permanently planesed? Should I just take them all out? Just put them right back in? Would that fix it? I don't even know. Oh my god. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to take out all the lands. I had two of every basic. And then all of my uh, on color, all my on color guys, steam vents, watery grave, sulfurous springs, dragon skull summit, three drowned catacombs, blood grip, Akum refuge, creeping tar pit. Done. So like. I'll even like leave the village so like it saves and now I'm gonna put all the lands right back in and hope to god that fixes it. Boom Refuge, Blood Crypt, Creeping Tar Pit, Dragon Skull Summit, Drowned Catacombs, uh, Two Islands, Two Mountains, Steam Vents, uh, Sulfur Springs, two swamps, two watery graves. That should be 17 lands. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All right. Good. Done. Wait. I need to, uh, I need to adjust my deck a little bit to deal with small goblins. Uh, Deluge is a mediocrity, so I can get that life gain effect. Um, what, what, what would I want to bring in to deal with all the small goblins? Lightning bolts helps a lot. Uh, I think I just need smaller, cheaper creatures. Like, um... What? I don't think I have any smaller, cheaper creatures. Gnawing Zombie, even though he's not awesome. Ideally, something will release us a little bit of power. The Grizzled Angler. Um, or you kind of board wipe. Would be great. Nope. Nope. A lot of stuff. Onulet? A 2-2 two -two when it dies, gain 2 life? That actually wouldn't be too bad. Just because it can block, trade for something, and give me a little bit extra life. I just put him in. We're going to take out the Stronghold Zeppelin for now, because that's going to be the weakest. Red's not going to be prevent, uh, presenting a whole lot of flying threats. And sometimes you just need a way to get around all that. Uh, I could do this Zulaport Enforcer, because he's a 1-1 one, one for 1, and then you can spend 4 mana to level him up, which makes him bigger. 
he might be a little bit more helpful than say what uh forty five cards in my deck though that's so much. I know my, uh, not a lot of people are saying, like, Jared, why don't you just play a 60-card deck? That's because I don't really have, like, a 60-card deck that's built in such a way to synergize with each other. I'm just getting random crap based off whatever I've found. So I'd rather have, like, a smaller pool that's more consistent and reliable than a 60-card deck, which is a bunch of extra stuff in there. And if I maybe get it, then it's maybe better. I, this is just, like, a stronger way to deal with it. I think I also just need, like, cheap removal. Which I do have two lightning bolts. Like, Master of the Way actually might be too small. Let's take out Master of the Way and just bring in Puncture Bolt. Deal damage and give him a minus one, minus one counter. That, that might be enough to help deal with that. Why was I still at 46 cards? Take out Master of the Way. Okay. So we're going to try this again, and hopefully I don't just draw random ass planes. Oh, look how much harder it is. This sucks. There's so many more dudes. Damn it. I'm just getting some extra life right away. No real signs of uh, where treasure could be, though. Good God. Oh, somewhere in this direction, I guess. Maybe past him. Try to get past this guy. My auntie is the delusions of mediocrity. Well, that's a bummer. Kind of wanted that. Oh, yeah, Mulligan. Okay, let's start off with the... I could blood crypt dark ritual into an onulet. I don't need to do that. That's, that's a bit much. If I want a dark ritual into something, I want something a little bit better than onulet. Can go Esper Stormblade. Veteran Brawlers. It's a 4-4. Four, four. You can't attack if defending player controls an untapped land. You can't block unless you control if you control an untapped land. Oh. So I actually need to keep an untapped land to get around him. So like if I were to say to Dark Ritual into Miri the Cursed, oops, I have an untapped land. You can't attack. Oh, I could have attacked, though. I forgot she had haste. Whoops. It's fine. That brings me up to four. Let's combat with Miri. Play an Onulet and keep an untapped land. <laughs> All right, your stupid goblin. Balloon thing can fly if you give pay a mana. Take four damage. Um, I'm actually okay with just trading these out. That does exactly what I wanted it to do. Kills him, and I get to keep attacking. Just note that he stuck at two mana. That rules. <gasps> Lightning bolt, Miri, no! Uh oh. It's gonna help me win faster. Gravedigger into Miri or Nope. Just murder. Murder, attack for five. He still attacks back? You butthole. Um Die? Good. Oh, there's a treasure! Plus one life. I have to get past this guy and that sorcerer. That's it. Okay. My auntie is Neferox. Never good. I have a three drop. 
Uh, a lot of, I have a lot of good free stuff. Oh, and you're mulliganing. Oh, two? Down to two? Yes. Thank you. This is like a free win. Oh my god, yeah. I can get past him. I can get a treasure. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Oh, you're so boned. You're so boned. Uh, steal their secrets, because I'm gonna start hitting your face. Flames laugh. Fuck. Uh, divination? Um. Again, I think Miri is just gonna make me win the fastest. But with the haste and all. You have one. Another. I was afraid of another flame slash. So I'm gonna go Abyssal Spectre to keep hitting his hand. So even if he wanted to do stuff, he can't. Yeah, lose the Uthdin troll. Um. Play Olivia. I got five damage in the air. Goblin Arsonist. Okay. Classic. In for five. Discards Furious Resistance. I'll play Dungeon Geist. Forcing you to tap down your Goblin Arsonist. So even if you want to pump him or do some other bullshit, you can't. And I'll have a Muck Rat for defense. Can I stretch this out long enough to gain some life? I could. I have Vampiric Tutor. That's the plan. I'm going to hit you with Bolivia. Bring you down to one. That's the plan. Yes. Uh, he's attacking? Okay. Muck rats. Do your job. Well done. Furloon Minotaur? Okay. Fast effects? Yeah. Vampiric Tutor. Get me that. Delusions of Mediocrity. Play Delusions of Mediocrity. I gain 10 life. And now I kill you in the air. Now I have 25 life to deal with this guy. Uh -huh. And I'm starting off with Stealer of Secrets. Come here! And you know what hasn't shown up? No planes! So I think I actually fixed that, that glitch. There is no mana in my hand. Mulligan. Two mana. Well, I do have Stealer of Secrets, which should help me. Oh, there's a Vampiric Tutor. I could use that to grab a land. Which I probably will, to be honest. So I'll start off with the Swamp. Go to Stealer of Secrets. Draw an extra card, which gets me the Vampiric Tutor. Lightning Bolt, Stealer of Secrets. Well, it was nice while it lasted. Using Vampiric Tutor to grab a land is not the most exciting thing in the world, but also like... I'm gonna go with that one. Just because I don't have anything else to play in turn two, so I might as well gain a point of life off of it. Okay, so now we got Deathbird Shaman, we got the Nivix Guild Mage, we also got the Esper Stormblade. Let's go with the Shaman, because he probably has some instant speed removal bullshit. If he does that, I'd rather he lose a card off of it. Um... Of the Esper Stormblade. Ronan Houndmaster. 2 2 with haste with Bushido 1. Whenever he blocks or becomes blocked, he gets plus 1 plus 1 to under turn. Hmm. Add haste, didn't attack. Marry the Cursed! Attack for 3 in the air. Uh, I will block. Oh, right, Bushido. It's when he blocks or becomes blocked, not when he attacks. I already forgot how Bushido works. Shows you how much Kamigawa I played. Which is none. Well, still attack you through in the air. Uh, let's go. Yeah, I'll pay the two life. Because now I can cast Cadaver Imp. Get back the life shaman. And my lands were tapped the wrong way because I was also going to play the Nivix Guild Mage afterwards. But if you do it, it'll 
Shower of Coals deals two damage to each of up to three target creature. Damn. Dungeon, guys. Let's, let's tap your stupid Ronin guy forever. God, it's still getting a lot of damage. I start off at 25. I'm down to 11. Where's the battlefield destroy target land? Destroys my red source? I, I'm just going to get in there. I, if I can at least get one thing out of this, great. I'm going to play the shaman. If I could use that to trade out and make him lose a card. Um. Again, like, do I do this in such a way that I stretch it out until I can get another plus 10 life? Like, I can just cast this outright to, uh... Oops. Not pretty fucked up. That's fine. Take you out. Um. Let me see what I can do. Particle Sorcerer? Or Particle Pyromancer, sorry. It's like Particle Sorcerer. This is from that Planar Chaos set where they made the Particle Sorcerer into red. Uh, Cast Divination. There's Steeler's Secrets, but still don't see what I want. I don't want to be taking any more damage. Alice, I'm going to end it. Gotta get this treasure, though! The Mock Sapphire! Yes, 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 yes! Yes! So good! Mmm! Okay, got the Mocks. Alright, now I just gotta... Find the other ones. My, my main ones I wanted to get were a Mox Sapphire and the Black Lotus. And we got the Mox. I'm gonna go this way. I hope he has to mulligan a bunch. Why aren't I starting off with any freaking lands? Mulligan. Got Cadaver Imp. Uh, paralyzing Grasp and... Sure. And a Murder. Oh. I'll keep that. All right, let's start off with the uh, Creeping Tar Pit. Goblin Bloom Brigade. I'm already going to be taking two damage every turn. Thankfully, got spells. Whoa, Giant Strength hits me for four. All right. Round Catacomb. Oh, it entered the play tapped. I didn't have a... Oh, I fucked up. I'm going to take another four damage and a Lightning Bolt. Oh, I'm down to one. Oh, no. I... I fucked up so bad. That's completely my fault. Because I didn't have a swamp or an island yet, drawn catacomb into the play tap, so I couldn't cast Paralyzing Grasp or Murder, and I'm fucking dead. Oh, that was dumb of me. And I lost Stroke of Genius. Ow. Oh. No, I don't want to fight you. Just go away. I'm such a dumbass. Well, now it's somewhere else. I, I got the Mox Sapphire out of it, at least. Damn it. Oh. Oh, well. It's like a free blue mana. All right, now I can readjust my deck here. They got Delusions of Mediocrity. Honestly, I could probably lose the Paralyzing Grasp, too. Or Icker Slick. I think I like Icker Slick less. Yeah. I mean, like, the 6 mana cycle plus give a thing minus 3 minus 3 is cute, but that just seems like a lot. Pseudoport Enforcer can come out. Um... Bring in a 
I'm, I'm not excited about this card either. Just because it, because it can't hit creatures at all. I don't want to play it. What was I looking for? Yeah, my Zeppelin. And probably just that, huh? On you, lit. You can come out. There we go. Forty-two cards is pretty good. <sighs> well, that was annoying. Uh, I'll let this episode go just a little bit extra long since we had that weird, that weird straight up glitch. Oh, world magic changed my ante. Yes, please. I would love that. Now I'm short on money. Oh, guess we're fighting you. I don't have any things to do that with. Lightning bolt. Uh, oh, my opening hand looks fine. Especially when you have the mulligan bunch. Diagraph ghoul. Classic. Uh, let's start off with events. We'll pay two life. And I'll immediately lightning bolt your stupid ghoul so you can't hit me for two every turn. And you don't have anything else to play. Good. John Catacomb to go. Uh. You know, bring the Nivix Kill Mage. Paralyze? Do you have to tap to use your abilities? You don't. So I can actually still activate him even though he's paralyzed. Which I will. So I can, wait, pay three. No, it's four mana to copy an instant or sorcery. So I could copy Dark Ritual. A super Dark Ritual. Let's bust out the elemental. I can use Light Tide Elemental to untap him. Gingus? I'll show you. Um, or because you're stuck at one swamp, I'm gonna start slapping you for two. Slap! Link you in. Dragon Skull Summit. Back you for five. Ah, oh, man, magic's easy when your opponent can't cast or do anything. Turns out. Untap the Tide Force Elemental, and we'll play a Stronghold Zeppelin. Uh, death, death, death. All right, cool. You didn't even give me any stuff. That's some shit. High Spider Artisan or Korean Ranger. Dumb. I still need to get more mana links, which I feel like are around here. There's a bunch of stuff I haven't really explored yet. Which I might need to do. Hi, Nether Fiend. You have a hive. I don't want to fight anyone right now. Waste! Good. Colorless land. Run, 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 run! Fuck. Change ante. Gravedigger? That's more reasonable. I don't want to lose Olivia. He has two mana. Muckrats, Stealer of Secrets. Mock Sapphire! <gasps> Sorry, two lands, but three mana. <laughs> Mock Sapphire. Island. And I'll pass back. I can go Blood Crypt. Probably untapped. I still have Puncture Bolt in here, I forgot. That might still be helpful here. Death Gaze Cockatrice. A 2 2 flying death touch? Sure would be a shame if, um. I'm gonna slap you, my Grail card. Yeah. Uh, I have a vampire tutor. Do you think I wanna grab with it? 
Oh, maybe now I'm murder. <laughs> yeah. Just use Vampiric Tutor or just Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt would be more economical. Only one mana. Lightning Bolt. Back with the Killer of Secrets for two. Draw a card, play the Drowned Catacomb, and then play Olivia. Cockatrice. God damn it. How do you have so much shit? Um, they could just attack. Probably end up having to do some trade outs. But I need to get past this cockatrice. Yeah, fast effects will activate Olivia. Deal an extra point of damage. So that they'll kill each other. I'll draw a card off Stealer of Secrets and I'll play a muckrat. Another cock. God damn it. Alright. That's fine. Uh Confiscate. It's mine now. Hey, that actually works. That's good. Stab wound. Oh, dead. Oh, whirling dervish. Love that guy. One one for protection for black. And he he deals combat damage to a player. Uh, he gets like a plus one plus one counter. He's super good. It's too bad now he's tapped forever. Get him. And now I win. There we go. Oh. Succumb to temptation, draw two cards, lose two life for three mana at instant speed. Mox Pearl, freaking time walk. There's also a sunken hollow in there. That's a more mana fixing. I don't want that sunken hollow. I also got a Baku altar. When you cast a spirit or arcane spell, you put a key counter on it, remove a key counter, make a 1 1 spirit. Okay, that's like some common god bullshit that I'm not going to do. Uh, but hey, look, your boy got himself another dual color land that he can put in. Put in the sunken hollow. Take out, uh. I don't know. Probably a swamp. Yeah. Okay. Now that's a good place to end the episode because... Oh, I do need to get to, what? Chill Cliff Mill. I also need to... I can get a black amulet if I go to Andor's Oasis. Which is there. Shell Cliff Mill is all the fucking way up there. I need to s explore this area. Start getting some mana links. It'll put me in red. So I start fighting red. I'm trying to figure out if I am in a good position to actually fight wizards or not. Because while I have been doing a decent amount of damage to black, to blue, or to green, I barely touched red. And red's getting the most mana taps. Uh, I don't know what wacky bullshit decks like they're going to have. Because everyone else has already had some pretty strong decks. Who knows what the wizard's going to be like. We'll have to see. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching. See you next time.